So in this video, I will be covering matrices and uh, determinants. Uh, so there uh, were a total of three questions that were asked in this uh, exam on September 11, 2020, shift one. So let us just start with the problems. So first question was a value of theta in zero to pi by two and satisfying this determinant equals to zero A is this. So usually when you see problems like this, it's not really a good idea to just simply expand the determinant, you know, because it will lead to complicated expressions, complicated equations. And then we will have an issue trying to solve them. So first we have to make an effort to try to reduce it. And how can we reduce it? You can do uh, column operations, row operations. So over here, I see that if I do uh, sine square plus cos square, that becomes one. So if I do C1 as C1 plus C2, this should become very easy for me. One plus sine square plus cos square. Sine square plus cos square is one. So this becomes two. This becomes also one plus sine square plus cos square. So two sine square plus cos square, this becomes one. And this is cos square theta, this is 1 plus cos square theta, this is cos square theta, 4 sin 4 theta, I think I have made a mistake, this is 4 here in the problem, 4 sin 4 theta, yeah I did that mistake while copying the question. Now uh, what you do next is as you can see, this is 2 and this is 2, this is 4 sine 4, this is 4 sine 4. If I do R1 as R1 minus R2, what will my delta become? That will be equal to uh, 0, cos square minus 1 minus cos square, so minus 1. And this becomes what? 0. So 2, 1 plus cos square theta, 4 sine 4 theta, 1 cos square theta 1 plus 4 sine 4 theta. Now I expand this determinant along this first row so 0 and then 0 so I don't have to consider these and now for minus 1 uh, cancel this row and this column so I will be left with and since this is equal to 0 so 0 is equals to cancel this and this so you are left with this. And I am not bothered about this minus sign here or uh, whether it will become plus because it's the first row and second column because it is equal to zero. So we are not bothered about the negative signs. So when you expand it, you get what? 2 plus 8 sine 4 theta minus 4 sine 4 theta is equals to zero. It means 4 sine 4 theta is equals to minus 2 or sine 4 theta is equals to minus half. Now uh, if you can remember in the problem it's given theta belongs from 0 to pi by 2 yeah and sine 4 theta is minus half. Let us try to draw sine theta. This is graph of sine right 0 to pi at pi by 6 this is half 5 pi by 6 is again half 7 pi by 6 is minus half and similarly 11 pi by 6 is equals to minus half so 4 theta is equals to 7 pi by 6 comma 11 pi by 6 or theta is 7 pi by 24 and 11 pi by 24 both these values are between 0 to pi by 2 Okay, 7 pi by 4 and 11 pi by, uh, by 24. So out of our given options, this one is the correct. 11 pi by 24 is not given, so we don't consider that. Now this question is on matrices. Let A 3 by 3 be a non-singular matrix such that this is equal to this, then what's this big big equation equals to big expression 
So you might be thinking like this is a raised to the power 8 and a raised power 7. Uh, how am I going to solve this? This is very difficult. Blah, 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 blah. You will be like that. But if you look closely at this question, you'll see that this is 17 and this is 85 and 119. This is the trick here. 17 times 5 is 85 and 17 times 7 is 119 and then you compare it with this expression you see there is 5 here minus 5 and plus 7 here as well so this kind of gives me the motivation to go at this expression from here I mean, if you do not have an approach in mind, how are you going to solve this big expression? There is just no way. You cannot find a from here and then find a raised to the power 8 multiplied with 17. Find a raised power 7 multiplied by minus 85. Do all of that and then add and then you will solve for the options as well and then see which is a good math. That is not the way to solve it. As we can see 17 is common also a raised to the power 6 is also common right so a square minus 5a plus 7i right this will be common if I take a raised to the power 6 from here I cannot just leave 7 here because 7 is just a number and these are matrices so identity matrix will be here minus 51a5 minus 19a4 plus 95a3 minus 133a square plus 58a plus i now what is this thing given equal to a square minus 5a plus 7i is given equals to 3 into a inverse 3a inverse right and this whole expression 17 times 3 is 51 a raised to the power 6 into a inverse that's a raised to the power 5 okay now what is this oh as you can see we have some success in reducing this expression this is just gone this is gone now I'm left with this so from a raised to the power 8, we have come down to a raised to the power 4. Now again, if you see 19, 19 times 5, 19 times 7. So I will do again what I did over here. I will take minus 19 a square common. What is uh, left? a square plus 5a minus 7i plus 58a plus i again this 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 whole expression is given equals to what 3a inverse so minus 19a square into 3a inverse plus 58a plus i 19 times 3 is 57 a square times a inverse is a so this is 58a minus 57a which is what a so a plus i which is which option option c so it looks like a very uh, terrible very difficult very i don't know big kind of expression and you may think wow how can i solve this this is very tough it's not tough as you can see Okay, question. This problem, first just open the matrices and you will get three variables and three equations. So, 2 into x, 1 into y, 1 into z, this should be equal to this matrix. So, 2x plus y plus z is equal to 1 and similarly 0x, so 0, 3 into y, so 3y minus z is equal to 1 and x minus y plus z is equals to 0 these are the three equations so let us say from uh, i have to solve these three equations and then i will get the solution which is x y z so x equals to say y minus z if i put this over here what do i get 2y minus 2z plus y 
plus z is equals to 1 or 3y minus z is equals to 1. So this equation which is uh, the second one 3y minus z is 1 is the similar one which I get from solving equation 1 and equation 3. Hence a unique solution does not exist. So there are many infinite solutions as you can see from here x, y, z are solved but there is a constant k which belongs to real. If I put k is equals to 0 I will get this as the solution k is equals to 1 then 4 and uh, 2 and uh, minus 2 will be the values for x, y and z. So infinite many value solutions are possible. So 3y minus z is 1 so which means what z is equals to 3y minus 1. If z is 3y minus 1 then what is uh, x x was y minus z which is equals to y minus 3y minus 1 or 1 minus 2y. So I am going to put x, y and z in terms of y. 1 minus 2y, y, z is 3y minus 1. I can write it like this 1, 0, minus 1 plus minus 2y, y, 3y, um, take y common, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, 1, 3. So y can be any constant like k just to make it look good <laughs> as in our solution. So 1, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, minus 1 is here and nowhere else and minus 2 1 3 minus 2 1 3 is also here so this one so option d is the correct solution so these were the three questions on uh, matrices and determinants one on determinant and two on matrices and that's it we'll uh, do complex numbers in the next video thank you everyone